everyone, Jen here from jennyandteddy.com. So in this video, we are going to make the beginner wide brim sun hat. This sun hat is mostly use single crochet stitch and half double crochet stitch on the brim. And you can see the beautiful 3D flower is making separate and then we will attach them to the sun hat. Um, during you watching the video, I would love you guys to go and get the free writing pattern on my blog because on the video tutorial, I will walk you guys to every round of the pattern. And this pattern we holding yarn to stand or hold double to get the thickness of the brim and the sun hat. And you can also follow me on Instagram to see the new pattern update. The basic construction of the sun head. Basically, we make a single crochet increase to make a big circle that big enough to fit the adult side head. And then we will continue with a single crochet stitch to um, create the bucket shape for the head. After this, um, we will um, adding the contrasting color yarn to um, make it a little bit more fancy and then we will um, adding the brim to the sun head with the half double crochet stitch all the way and after we finish the brim we will Create the pin view flower or the 3D flower separate and we will attach the flower to the sun head by sewing using the yarn needle and that's all we done. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and let's get started. So um, what you will need is a crochet hook size, 3.5 mm crochet hook, measuring tape, the yarn needle, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, and the yarn that I use is um, 24 cotton from Lion brand. The yarn weight is a uh, 4 medium. And the contrasting color yarn to be the stitch marker. If you use the stitch marker, so you don't need to use the contrasting color yarn. But I prefer to use the contrasting color yarn to be my stitch marker. And um, in this sun hat, we will um, holding them to to stand while we during we crocheting. We have a um, white color and the contrasting color will be the purple color. You can use the contrasting color in any color you like. So the purple color we will use only for just two or three row, two or three la for to make the strip for the head, and and we will use the um, contrasting color to make the um, the flower for the sun head as well so we we not using much of the contrasting color but uh, the main color is a white color you can use any main color you like but I use white color the white color will be we will be using more so I use um, to skin of them so um in this example size is for the um, adult size we have only one size for adult for the sun head and the reason i use um 3.5 millimeter crochet hook because i want the um, sun head especially on the brim to be holding the shape a little bit prettier and not too floppy so I use um, 3.5 mm crochet hook 
the smaller hook than the recommend size on the on the label so if if you um love to use smaller hook maybe you can go to smaller like three millimeter crochet hook so i use three five five so we will start with the um, magic adjustable ring by wrap your yarn around your finger two times insert your crochet hook underneath and draw the loop take your finger out and then we will chain one and then we will start to make a um, single crochet in the ring in this pattern we will make six single crochet in the ring one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet and six single crochet and then we will pull the yarn tail to crossing the gap and this time um, I use a contrasting color yarn to be my stitch marker and then we will start on um, Round two on the next one. So um on round two, we will make um two single crochet in each stitch across. So basically, we will um making the circle. Bigger circle to um, get the side for the adult head by in cro uh, single crochet increasing. So we make one, uh, so we make two single crochet in each stitch around. So in the total, we will have 12 stitch. Be sure to um, counting the stitch in each round. So I finish, I will count the stitch. Two, three, Two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So in the total of round two, we will have um twelve stitch. Then we will start on round three in the next. So now we are. Starting round three. On round three, we in the first stitch we make single crochet, and in the next stitch we make two single crochet. One and two. First stitch, single crochet, and the next stitch, two single crochet. One and two. First stitch single crochet next stitch we make two single crochet keep going first stitch single crochet next stitch two single crochet we nearly finish first stitch single crochet next stitch two single crochet
first stitch single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet now we are at the end of round three now put your stitch marker in I will measure my circle now we about two inch so here from here to here is two inch just measure the, the center along the way so you can keep on track so now we have about two inch from here to here and in the total of the stitch in row three we will have 18 stitch in the total and we start on row four in the next um on we're starting on row four now on row four in the first two stitch we make single crochet one single one single and in the next stitch we make two single crochet so in the first two stitch here one two we make sorry first two stitch we make single crochet and on the next stitch we make two single crochet so we will keep repeating this until the end of the round um, I will have the total of the stitch count in my writing pattern on my blog I will put the link in the description below you can go to look at it but for my tip um, from this round on I will not count the stitch because I will count during when I crocheting like first two I do single crochet on the next one I do two single crochet so if I, I am accurate with this stitch so in the total the stitch count will be exactly like on the writing pattern so if if you didn't do the counting on this one so maybe you need to count the total of the stitch here if you do counting like I did like um first two I did single cro single crochet and on the next one I do two single crochets because I counting already in every stitch here and the total I should be okay um so I hope you understand so I will meet you at the end of row four yeah now I am at the end of row four and then we will start on um, row five on row five in the first three stitch we will make single crochet one single two single and three single so in the first three stitch one two three we make single crochet on the next stitch we make two single crochet this is um, row five so in the first three stitch single crochet one single one single and one single and then on the next stitch we make two single crochet and we will um, keep repeating this and I will meet you at the end of row 5 here now we are at the end of row 5 and we put contrasting color yarn to be the marker and on um, row 6 row 6 in the first 4 stitch 1, 2, 
three, four, we make single crochet. One, two, three, and four. We make single crochet in each stitch. So in the first four stitch, one, two, three, four, we make single crochet. On the next stitch, we make two single crochet. One and two. And we will keep repeating this by on the first four stitch, one, two, three, four, we make single crochet in each of this stitch. And on the next stitch, we make two single crochet two single crochet and I will meet you at the end here and I will meet you at the end of row row six hi guys now we are at row seven so in the first five stitch one two three four five we make single crochet one two three four and five and on the next stitch we make two single crochet one and two and we will keep repeating this until the end of the round I will meet you at the end of round seven just in the first five stitch single crochet on the next stitch two single crochet. I will meet you at the end of round seven here. Hi, and I am finished round um, seven already on round eight. In the first six stitch we make single crochet one two, three, four, five, and six. And on the next stitch we make two single crochet. One and two. So in the first so in the first six stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six. In each of them we make single crochet, and on the next one we make two single crochet. And I will meet you at the end here. Hi guys, now I am at the end of row eight, and on row nine, uh, round nine. We will make in the first seven stitch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the first seven stitch, we will make single crochet in each stitch. Two single, three single, four single crochet, four. Six, seven, and on the next stitch we make two single crochet and we will keep repeating this by in the first seven stitch one two three four five six seven in each of them we make single crochet and on the next stitch we make two single crochet repeat this until the end of the row I will meet you at the end of round 9 hi guys now I am at the end of round 9 already on round 10 we will make in the first egg stitch we make single crochet one single two single three single, four single crochet, five, six, seven, and eight. 
on the first egg stitch we make single crochet and on the next stitch we make two single crochet and we will keep repeating this until the end of the round I will meet you at the end of round 10 yeah hi guys now I am at the end of round 10 and we will stop increasing the circle now and I will measure the circle is about six and a half inch from here to here six and a half this is for the crown and then we will stop increasing and then after this we will just do a single crochet in each row to create a bucket shape um, on row um, 11 to 27 we will do single crochet in each row after row we're not joining we just keep continuing in spiral and I will meet you at the end of round 27 hi guys now um, I end up making um, 21 round and I try it on is fit my um, fit the adult size so instead of um, 27 round you will be at um, 21 21 round and I will measure up it's about six and a half inch and now we will um, switch the color switch up the color to be the uh, contrasting color for two rounds so we cut the yarn off and then we will um, Switch up the color to the purple color. Now on the round 22 and 23, we will um, switch color to the purple color or the contrasting color. So on round 22 and 23, we will do um, single crochet in each stitch around the same, but we just switch up the color to be the purple color or the contrasting color yarn. Just keep making single crochet in each around and I will meet you at the end of round um, 23 just two round hi guys um, I finished um, round 22 and 23 now we will um, switch up to the white color for the brim now we are going to making the brim we, we finished the head now the head body now we are going to add the brim for the brim, we change the color and we cut the yarn off for the contrasting yarn. And 
for the brim on row 24 we will work in for loop only front loop only um, we will make half double crochet in the next three stitch half double crochet in the next three stitch one half two half double crochet and then three half double crochet this is a contrasting color yarn and then on the next stitch we make two half double crochet in the next stitch in this row we are working in front loop only one half two half so we will keep continue repeating this oh i missed this, this so this this one half two half so we will keep repeating this by on the next on the first three stitch one two three we making half double crochet in each stitch and on the next stitch we make two half double crochet and i will meet you at the end of the row here hi guys now i am at the end of row round 24 now so on round 25 we will crochet in front loop only so the first four stitch we make half double crochet in front loop one half double crochet two half double crochet so in the first four stitch we make one half double crochet three half double crochet remember in front loop only then four half double crochet and on the next stitch we make two half double crochet in front loop only so we will keep repeating this by on the first four stitch one two three four we make half double crochet in each of them and on the next stitch we make two half double crochet and then i will meet you at the end of the row row of 25 hi guys now i am at the end of row 25 We did in front loop only and from row 26 on 26 and more we will work in both loop so on um, row 26 in the first five stitch we make half double crochet one double Two double, three double, four 
four half double crochet five half double crochet one two three four five in the first five stitch we make half double crochet on the next stitch we make two half double crochet one and two So we will repeat this on row 26. In the first 5 stitch we make half double crochet, half double crochet and then on the next stitch we make 2 half double crochet. I will meet you at the end of the row of 26. Hi guys, now I am at the end of row 26. And we will be on row 27. Row 27, we will make in the first six stitch, we make half double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six. In each of them, in the first six stitch, we make half double crochet. One half double crochet. Two half double crochet. Three half, I got um, four half, four half double crochet, five half double crochet, six half double crochet, and on the next stitch we make. Two half double crochet and we will be repeating this until the end of the round I will meet you at the end of round 27 so on round 27 in the first six stitch we make half double crochet on the next stitch we make two half double crochet I will meet you at the end of row 27 here Hi guys, now I am finished at um, row 27, on row 28 and 29, the last two row, we will make um, one half double crochet in each stitch across until the end of the row and that's all, we will be finished for the head. And after this, we will add um, making the flower to attach to the head. So on last two row on row um, 28 and 29, we will work half double crochet in each stitch around. I will meet you when I finish the last two row, and we will make the um, flower together the 3d flower hi guys um now i finished the last two row already of the brim let me just make half double crochet in each stitch around for two row so the brim is overall is about three inch so we cut from here the three inch three and a half inch something like that so we finish for the head now and on the next one we will um we will make the 3d flower Hi guys, now we are going to make the pinwheel flower or like um, a kind of um, 3D flower look like this and what you need is a crochet hook size um, 3.5mm crochet hook and 
then I used um, 100% Lion Brand 24-7 cotton holding to stand when we are crocheting so we will start with the magic adjustable loop we will um, leave the long tail because we are going to use this one for attach the flower to the head or anything you like so we will wrap the yarn around your finger two times start with the magic ring insert your crochet hook underneath and draw the loop take your yarn out and then we will make a chain then we will make um, X single crochet in the ring one single two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet and eight single crochet and we will put a yarn tail to cross the gap and now we are going to make the petal of the flower so we will join join the round by single crochet And then we will chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we will make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Next stitch is here. We make slip stitch. And then we will make repeat this one by chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we will slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch then we will chain 6 again repeat the same chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 slip stitch and we keep going until the end of the round here I will meet you at the end here So now at the end, we will have um, eight loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you have seven loop, that will be five too because it's not much different. Because if you can see the flower here, we have an egg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven loop. So if you have seven loop, that's okay too. If you have eight loop, that will be fine too. If you look pretty, the same. So on the next round, we will make um, 14 double crochet in the loop. on two 
two double crochet, three double crochet already, four double crochet, five double crochet. Six double crochet. We will make fourteen in the loop. Six already. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Four more. Eleven double crochet. Twelve. Two more. Um, thirteen and fourteen. The last one is 14. So we have 14 double crochet in the loop. And then we will um, slip stitch in the loop to slip stitch to finish. See? Here? And on the next loop we will do 14 the same. 14 double crochet. One double. Two double crochet, three double crochet, and we keep going fourteen double crochet in the loop, and we finish with a slip stitch in the loop, and go on the next one. When we finish, we will have uh, the flower pinwheel flower like this this one have one two three four five six seven loop <laughs> so if you have eight loop that will be fine six loop seven loop that's okay don't worry about it and then you can um, attach the flower to any um, crochet project you like but I will um, show you we will attach the flower to the head to my um, white brim sun head just use the yarn needle and attach them on the line here use the purple the same attach them and attach them so my my tip to go to make the flower look um, beautiful so after we attach them already in the middle and on the line here and then we will use the yarn needle go on stitching on on the p towel a little bit one or two three something like that so the flower will be look good so and that's all we done I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and thank you so much for watching. If you make one, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. Have a good day. Bye.